Hey y'all, listen, there is a word from God. Um, two days ago is um, when I posted about the fire truck and the number 17 and I put on my page what it meant. So right before I did that, I picked up a man in, in my neighborhood and when he got in my car, He's, you know, he was moving slow because he was on a cane and literally God placed him in my car. So when he got in my car, he said that he overslept and he missed his doctor's appointment. Not, not, a, it was not a doctor's appointment. He missed his appointment, which was at nine o'clock. He got in my car at 10 22 on two days ago. So today is Thursday. So it was Tuesday. So. Um, he get in my car and he was so sad because two years ago that day on Tuesday he lost his wife she was 60 years old and he was real frustrated saying that he missed her so much and I kind of prayed with him and I said well was she a believer he said yes she was she loved God with all her heart moving forward he said um, his son he was still you know kind of angry at God he lost his son two weeks after his wife passed away so he lost a son and a granddaughter in a car accident so at this point I was just saying you know everything works you know together for the good of them that love the Lord and who called according to his purpose and so anyway we were just small talking and I was just trying to really encourage him not really knowing what to say so I said well you're a believer uh, right and he said I don't believe that I am and I was just really disturbed with that because he said my wife believed in God we read the Bible together but she never knew that I was not a believer I'm like wait a minute sir how did y'all read the Bible together and you still not believe he said it just did not register with his heart so I get him to his appointment which was on Central Expressway and as soon as I dropped him off I another guy was getting in my car like he was getting out behind me and another person, like he was still in the car, and a guy named Sam opened the door on the on the passenger side. And he got in, and I was saying, oh, my goodness, how are you today? He said, I'm fine. And I said, the guy that just got out of my car, I was telling him about, you know, him losing his wife, a son, and a grandbaby all within two weeks. Y'all hear what the Spirit is saying? Within two weeks of each other, he lost a wife a son and a granddaughter wife had renal failure son and granddaughter killed in a car accident right so sam said well i guess i'm not gonna bother you with my problem i say i look back there i said go on sam what's going on with you he said i said well my mom passed away sam i am so sorry to hear about your mom i said you don't have to tell me what happened because i was still full of what mr man said about his wife and family and I was like okay Sam this is a free space go ahead on and tell me what happened to your mom he said my mama committed suicide he said I live in New York City and I came to Dallas to take care of my two younger siblings he was 25 years old and his mom passed away in March she, she actually took her life and I was just trying to encourage him now Sam on the other hand is a Christian and he's a believer he knows that everything happens for a purpose but y'all listen at this we talked about God we you know we talked about Jesus we talked about the love of God but what he said came out of his mouth and this bothers me for the body of believers y'all quit saying stuff runs in your family begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your bloodline over your family line over this generation that's coming ahead because it can't keep running through your family. Somebody has to have the Holy Ghost power to break every chain in the name of Jesus. And so he said that uh, a few years ago, I think he said, nine years ago, he said, this runs in our family. My mama's twin sister committed suicide. I said, the devil is alive. And he said, sometime I feel that depression coming on. And I said, oh, so you going to let it run through your family? Let me say this can't nothing and nobody run through my family i pray hard daily all day and y'all i have seen god move just because of the words that we speak so i pray today that you stop letting stuff run through your family 
Start talking to Jesus about bloodlines and things and curses and word curses that people have spoken over your life and spoken over your family and spoken over you and your children. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar and he's been telling lies not to the world. He's been telling it to God's folk all the time. A lady in my Bible study, uh, I love Kate, she said, last week on Wednesday, she said, just tell him a lie. He's a liar. He puts stuff in your head and you, you a lie. You a lie. So last week, all day long, you a lie. And y'all remember this. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Start speaking life in the name of Jesus. So that's all I got for right now. But um, it, it hurt. It hurts. And it hurts my heart to know that Jesus died for that too. Whatever we're going through, he died for that. Take it to Jesus in prayer. And so that's all I have. I just wanted to share that with you. So two days ago, and today is September 22nd, 2022. I'm going to come back later on with a word from a book that I've been reading that y'all, God is here. This is not the time or the season to play with God. So anyway, y'all go ahead on and have, try to have a good day and pray. Love on each other. Forgive each other. Because we need each other. Ain't nothing else going to happen. We are the church. We are a body of believers. And God has brought us together for such a time as this. We about to trample. Let Luke 10, 19. Start trampling up on these serpents and scorpions and demons. Start trampling. Start doing the work that God has called and created us, created us to do. In Jesus name. I pray that you are having a good day. Amen.